So today they dropped the mother of all POTM programs. Could be early on here, but I think this is maybe the best POTM program we've ever gotten. From Lightning, you see the animated card art. That, that, that's so cool. I appreciate it. Uh, we got a rise. How could it be any better? Uh, the set cards are great, uh, but a lot of people talking about how to get this done fast. Also, uh, I want to address something as far as tops now uh, that I saw on a lot of people question in my stream. So uh, we'll talk about that here. Leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Appreciate all the love here on the Gomer Simpson channel. And that's get it going. So first and foremost, tops now. It's not affecting everybody that I see talking about it, but some people it is, and that is their program stars on the top left is not the same number. They're not actually what they are on on the path. I think for some reason, if you completed some of these flashback stat missions, you, you, you get the four points for them right there. It is creating a false sense of how many points you actually have due to two reasons. Either those don't count for program progress or at the end of a week you finished off and it said that you were at like a hundred points. You were technically over what was possible and it's carried over and it's just not right. So you're truly at whatever it shows you right here. So I'm at 116. You know, if it said 190 in the top left, it doesn't matter. It's whatever is on the path there. Okay, let's talk about PUTM, baby. Um, April monthly awards program. Uh, got a good chuck done. You know, we've only grinded here for like, uh, I don't know, hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes. Uh, but we made very good progress here. And here is the map. Here's how you should be doing it. So first and foremost, uh, is this worth it? Should you do tops now? Uh, resounding yes. Most people, I imagine, have been kind of keeping up with the top snell content as we go week by week because you get the free set collection cards and you get 15 points here which is one tenth of the way to 150 obviously thank you mathematician goma right there it was a tough one god the thunder is just rolling Oh, I love a rainy night baby um, but yeah 15 points it's gonna get you a tenth 10% to Matt Chapman right there. Definitely worth the while to do. A lot of the top snow moments, pretty easy as well. Uh, but you should be doing those and these first. Moments has to be the first thing that you do because everything else bleeds into one another. And a lot of these, uh, pretty easy. For pitching moments, again, we've talked about this ad nauseum. It is the epitome of R and G. You got to get down on your knees. You got to pray to the heavens, R and Jesus above, uh, because there's only one way to pass them, and that is just by getting lucky. The best way to do it, fastballs up high and in usually, then breaking balls. So going righty, righty, fastball, fastball, pepper them, break them, you know, get a, get a sword going. Uh, with the curveball and end them. That's usually the best way to go about it. Uh, everything else, power swing. You know, you want a power swing here. That's the main thing. You're on rookie difficulty, veteran difficulty for most of these. Uh, very big PCIs. You might as well power swing. Get a little extra oomph behind some of these. Now, some of these guys have less power than others, so just power swing. It is well worth it. And from there, you're going to start to get some of these cards. And that's where you want to start like really branching out and thinking of what to do because you'll be able to get, uh, I think, four out of those five by the time that you just do the moment before you get the tops now added on to there and then you'll reach where I'm at now and I'll give you guys my game plan for the rest of it. I would say generally make sure you pick at least one pitcher. I mean out four out of the five unless you're duplicating them you got to pick at least one pitcher here uh, because you need 500 PXP per pitcher and then there's a couple ways to go about this. There's the PXP missions and stat missions which are basically going to go hand in hand here. They net you seven program points per, which is pretty good. Um, I, I also just love the, the little side note. Captain Carlos Santana included for the stolen base mission. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. Uh, I was worried or not if my 12 stealing 46 speed Carlos Santana. Yes, because I was definitely taken off. You know, he was getting the green light. The third base coach didn't even have to tell him shit. Santana knows he can go as he pleases with that kind of blazing speed. Uh, but those go hand in hand. You know, pick up these POTM cards, need 200 PXP. Uh, the best way to get PXP for hitters and pitchers, it's two different ways. Uh, so then again, stat missions tally both hand 
hand in hand right there. Uh, if you want to go just simply PXP, the way I would recommend it again is that you should go into mini seasons. If you're on the next generation consoles, you should be playing at blank canvas. That is my created ballpark. Homer Haven, call it what you want. It's 270 to the foul poles. Ant-Man's nearly taller than the walls itself, damn it. Uh, look up Gomes the Legend as the online ID. You'll find it right there. Very simple. If you guys are not on the next generation consoles, I would recommend Shield Woods. Very good park. High elevated. Um, ball just carries there. Capital Lange Field as well. It's one of the new stadiums. They got like the Yankee short porch, but instead of like 100 elevation like it is there in New York, it's like 4,800 right here. So you're gonna get a ton of offense and get this done very quick. But I don't think that you should be playing it on rookie difficulty. You should be playing it on something like legend difficulty because that's how you're gonna get pitchers done quick. Rookie difficulty, yes, you're gonna bat around twice. You're gonna be running a train on the opposition. But for pitchers, you don't gain a whole lot for getting like an inning pitched on rookie. And especially if you play in blank canvas, you're giving up home runs anyway. It's not like you're getting the bonus for the shutout, anything like that. So parallels when it comes to that, you want the boost. I would say good middle ground for some people, all-star. All-star difficulty, especially if you're playing on blank canvas, way too easy still uh, to score runs there, no problem. You're going to have to focus in a little, oh, whoa, that, that's, that's kind of big. That's uh, kind of a lot. Okay, maybe you have to focus more than I thought, but yes, it's not too different. Go on all-star, and at least you're going to gain a bigger multiplier from playing on a higher difficulty for those pitchers. If you just have to get pitchers done after that point, go on legend. Again, it does not make a difference if you look at the parallel rate. What is going to get you those points? It is uh, innings pitched. Uh, wins are in there. Yes, complete game shutouts. Uh, but you're probably not doing that on these cheap ballparks anyway. So, uh, yeah, innings pitched. That's the name of the game. You get such high PXP. It's worth it. Go on legend and just play a shitty team. You know, play... The Oakland A's, you're going to get plenty of strikeouts and gain more PXP that way as well. So uh, doing those two things hand in hand, you're going to get this done in no time. Of course, you should be rocking a team build that looks like this. It's tops now, it's monthly awards. You could go do this. You could also do it in events. You get one point per event win. If you're good at the game and if you enjoy playing online, go ahead and do it. We're going to be doing that as well. Uh, but it's probably not as quick as if you just went ahead and did it offline and got a little cheesy about it. Also, if you haven't finished up some of these conquest maps, now is a great time to catch up on that. If you don't want to do the mini seasons thing, uh, if you have these to do to get the Mariner City Connect, uh, you want the Rangers City Connect. Sorry, but that's still not at the game. <laughs> Uh, they didn't splurge for the expedited shipping. Uh, it's still on pre-order. It's been about, I don't know, three weeks. At this point, I think they forgot. <laughs> Damn straight. They just forgot that the Ranger City Connect even dropped. I, I don't know if it's ever coming. Uh, but there you go. That's how you're going to get POTM done fast. You're going to get Arise. You're going to get Alvarado. Brent Rooker, a lot of great names here, man. A lot of great names, all leading up to 99 Matt Chapman, baby. So let me know in the comment section uh, if you guys have been having that issue with the Top Snell stuff as well, and what cards you guys are looking forward to adding to your team the most. I'm looking forward to getting this done because I know uh, that Carlos Santana boost is juicy. It's fat. I just got to see it on paper. Uh, I got to see on the wheels everybody's stats adjusting to it. It's going to be crazy, so leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys uh, are new, and thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great one.